Welcome to the next edition of Spotlight. Very quick video tutorials, education to, as shown here, give you ideas to improve your trading and investing. This is Steve Nissen, founder and CEO of CandleCharts.com. And as always, I just want to start off with our risk disclosure. Uh, just reminding you that there is a risk factor involved in trading anything in any time frame. Uh, yes, there's profit potential, but there's also risk potential. So if you want to read the whole disclosure, you can put the player on pause and read it here, or you go to this link shown at the bottom of this slide. What we're going to do in this brief video is show you one of the ways you could use an intraday chart. Now, I know many of you are not intraday traders. Uh, we have a lot of great strategies for those who are intraday traders, but there are some great strategies we also have that show you how to use intraday charts even if you don't trade intraday. And a quick example will be how you can find what I call hidden support or resistance. And the reason I call it hidden is because we don't see it on a daily or a longer term chart. And I'll show you what I mean. And by it, I mean support or resistance. And the strategy I'm going to talk about is particularly valuable in the current time frame with the extreme volatility with the big moves in the market. So let me show you. So here we have a market. And by the way, I took off what market is because this strategy works in all markets and all time frames. A very long, uh, big rally. And if we looked at this chart, we would say, hey, where is the first support? This is a daily chart. And I think most of us would agree right around the lows here, around $78. See, tested three times. But the market closed at uh, almost $83. So you're looking at a $5 first support area. So where can we get first support? Ah, uh, this is where the hidden support comes in with intraday charts. So let me show you. What I've done here on this day with a long white candle, I've made it an intraday chart. And this is the same day, April 15th. So this is the big rally on April 15th. And this is a, uh, an intraday chart. And we could see on this intraday chart, this is April 15th, this is the day, and it's broken into intraday, we could see all the support right around $82. Now, do we see that on the daily chart, $82 as support? Let me go back. No. So here on the intraday, because it was tested many periods, intraday period, we now have our first support at $82 instead of at 78 And let's go back to the and that's the support area. Let's go back to the daily chart. This was April 15th, and look what happened, what became support. And there's no way you would have seen this if you looked on a daily chart. So lots of great strategies you could use uh, for intraday trading, whether you're an intraday trader or not. For example, there's ways not only to find hidden support or resistance areas, but ways to gauge if the market's overbought or oversold, get earlier reversal signals than you would on a daily chart, and so forth. And for those who want to squeeze the most out of every potential trade, uh, you could think about using intraday chart. It doesn't matter if you're a longer-term trader or any market. And what we've done is let you learn the very best strategies for you using intraday charts no matter what your time frame and we've done that by setting up a special uh, video session and you go to this link here intraday and candlecharts.com backslash intraday and you'll see some short videos detailing the educational resources available once again doesn't matter what you trade or what time frame whether you use intraday to set up your uh, your intraday trades or if you trade longer term and you want to use intraday to get those early reversal signals or those hidden support er resistance areas that I just showed in this brief video. For any questions, contact Paul at CandlerCharts.com. Thanks again for joining me.